Djokovic reigns in Australia once again. Six to one, six, seven, seven, six. Six more. A win of mental fortitude for the world number five. He was pushed to the limit by Seb Corner, who had a championship point in the second set. But it will be a 90-second ATP Tour title for the great champion. A new champion is crowned in India. And what a milestone day in the career of Talon Greek Sport. It is a first ever ATP Tour title for the Dutchman. As he takes down Benjamin Bonzi in a terrific final here in Pune. The relief, the joy. And he will savour this moment. What a way to start your 2023 campaign. since he won his last ATP title. And that is a monumental effort. He probably doesn't know how he's been able to win that third set. Ball is going out. Well, it's exactly the way that this match, finished. I think this is out. I think Kwan is the champion of Adelaide. But we're going to have to wait to see. The coronation is complete. Wu Yiping is a champion on the ATP Tour for the very first time. He becomes the first Chinese man in the Open era to win an ATP Tour title. What a moment for him, what a moment for Chinese men's tennis as well. They've been waiting a long time for this. A quite extraordinary final, certainly the final set tiebreaker. But it's Wu Yibing who holds his nerve. An amazing week for the 23-year-old. Got the bell, like a king, heavyweight champion of the whole damn thing, yo. Full of gas, full of spin. It is a second career title for Sebastian Baez. <laughs> And it has come at home. Now they can celebrate. He can celebrate. And a very nice exchange with Korea. It is title number seven for Yannick Sinner in his ATP Tour career. He becomes the first Italian champion in this tournament's history. It is a new name on the trophy here in Montpellier. He is all smiles. He usually is when he reaches a final. He is clinical. He's now won seven out of the eight finals he has played on tour. He is a born winner. Medvedev is the champion in Rotterdam. The former world number one 
wins his 16th ATP Tour title. A fantastic finale to a special week once again here in the Netherlands. A week in which Medvedev has re-found his game. It's Delray Beach delight for Taylor Fritz. The American number one, Two sets to one. ends up number one Six, for the week. Five, seven. His Six, coach, two. Mike Russell, and Taylor's girlfriend, Morgan, delighted with the team there. And Ketsmanovic can't beat him this time, having beaten him last time. But it's another three-set win for the American. He's getting used to the stardust, isn't he? And he's certainly shining more and more now in this sport. That was big for him because... He's done it fittingly with a drop shot. Alcaraz is back and firing on all cylinders. His first tournament of 2023, and he's won it. The seventh title of his career. And the world number two has announced his return to the tour in a big way. What a performance. Cam Nori is the 2023 Rio Open presented by Claro champion. One of the most amazing and bizarre finals you're likely to see. And a really nice embrace between the two at the net. He gets his revenge, Nori, after Alcaraz beat him in Buenos Aires just a week ago. But how Alcaraz kept that close, I do not know. Almost playing on one leg in that final set. But Cam Norrie, well, he dug so deep to come through that. A fifth ATP Tour title for him, his first at 500 level. A sublime finish for Daniel Medvedev, who claims the 17th title of his career. He goes back to back, having won in Rotterdam last week. He's now the champion in Doha. It's nine straight wins. He is firmly back to his very best. Just wide. There'll be a challenge. Difficult to tell from Hubi's reaction. He'll have to watch and wait. If this is missed, then he's the champion. He is indeed. Her catch claims another ATP title, the sixth of his career, his first here in Marseille and his first of the season significantly. Some terrific tennis under pressure, particularly the serving off the charts at times. Just too big for Bonzi today. Wins in exactly 90 minutes, 6-3-7-6. He cannot stop winning right now. Daniel Medvedev makes it three in a row on the ATP Tour. Three titles in three weeks as he takes the crown here in Dubai. Too strong tonight for his good friend Andrei Rublev, whose title defence falls just short.
Moko has a new champion. And it's a first trophy at this level for Alex de Menor. What a Herculean effort it's been from Tommy Paul. But the Australian was just a little too strong. And that's why he has his hands on an ATP 500 title for the first time in his career. He's done it. And the crowd rejoice. Their man, the new Chilean number one, has made it through to the final here in Santiago. And he's come back from the dead. Eight successive games he lost. Suspension, the doubts as if you would ever be able to return to a, to a good level. Tennis moving on without you, but uh, well, this has this, this is put pay to all of those doubts. What a moment. King Carlos is on top of the world. He is the Indian Wells champion, and he will become the world number one. A third Masters title from three Masters finals to add to those trophies last year in Miami and Madrid. And of course, the ends Medvedev's 19 match win streak. A quite phenomenal performance. A warm embrace with coach. In seven match, Medvedev, two sets to long. Seven, five, six, three. Medvedev's magnificence in the Magic City makes him the man. Champion of the Miami Open. Now, Daniil, the road warrior, just too tough. Too good, too often. And he grabs all the glory for a 19th career title and his fifth Masters 1000 crown. Francis TFO is the 2023 Houston champion. And this is a final that he won't forget in an awful long time. Some exceptional play from both men. Serve for it and a 7 5 4. Showed some nerves. But in the second set tie break, he was absolutely magnificent, taking it on his second championship point. Delighted exhaustion for Roberto Carbaez Baena and five years on from his first ATP Tour title, he finally has a second. The champion in Quito in 2018 is now the champion in Marrakesh in 2023, his new tennis happy place. Alexandra Muller gave everything in his first ATP Tour final. But the Spaniard made it physical, of course he did, in three hours and a minute. Joy unbounded in the Carbayas Baena camp. It is title number 10 for Kasper Ruud, as he is the champion in Estoril. Two good friends with a warm embrace. There were so many questions at the start of the week. 
But the Norwegian had all the answers by the end of the week. Been a tough year, but no doubt about it, he's got it going. Rublev reigns supreme in Monte Carlo. A first Masters 1000 title for the world number six. After suffering disappointment on this court two years ago in the final against Stefanos Tsitsipas, he made absolutely sure that no one was stopping him this year. He's had to be patient over the years, but it always seemed somewhat inevitable that sooner or later, one of these huge trophies would have his name on it. And who knows? It's perfection in Barcelona from Carlos Alcaraz. The 19-year-old defends his title. Some lovely words exchanged between the two, it would seem. Tsitsipas simply was second best. It's his third title of the season. The first time in his career he is able to defend a title. What a way to finish. A sensational match, and Holger Rune has defended his title here in Munich. And boy, did he fight. Three times van der Zanskel served for the match. He had four match points. But as last year, he's come second. He is some guy, this Holger Rune. It's his first title of 2023. Exhausted delight for Dusan Lajovic. The second title of his career is so hard earned. After over 11 hours on court this week, he claims the title in Banja Luka at the expense of Andrei Rublev. A wonderful battle. And Rublev generous in defeat in a match in which he gave so much as well. Two top ten wins this week have capped the perfect week, week for Dusan Lajovic. A remarkable performance from him and it ends with title number two. Carlos Alcaraz defends his title in the Spanish capital. Jan Lennardstruff threw everything at the 20-year-old inside the magic box. But ultimately, Alcaraz had all the answers. It's a fourth Masters 1000 title of his career. He moves to within touching distance once again of the top spot in the world rankings. He prevails in Madrid in 2024. Well, the chair umpire jumps in. I'm not sure whether he'll check the mark. I don't think he'll need to. And Medvedev is the master in Rome. A lot of respect up at the next between the two finalists. 
And it is a sixth Masters 1000 title for this man at six different venues. And significantly, of course, his very first title on clay. The third title of his career. The Masters 076 7661. And that's what it means to Nicholas Thierry. What a way to end this tournament. Takes out Kasparu, the two-time defending champion, Sasha Zverev, and then in the final, Grigor Dimitrov. Final score, 7-6, 6-1. Tour, the youngest winner on tour this season, the 18 year old wildcard has done it in Lyon in front of a packed house of adoring French fans. It's a week that he will never forget. He comes through over Francisco Serindolo in an hour and 36 minutes. Six three seven five. Hide your evil twin. You're never gonna keep me down. You're never gonna keep me down. Oh no no. Oh my word! What a way to win it! Incredible. Francis Tierbo is the champion in Stuttgart. And you have to say, it was always going to take something special to get over the line as he breaks German hearts. But rightly so, the crowd responds to a quite sensational effort. He will be a top 10 player on Monday. Sport is the champion on home one, soil. Six, seven, seven, six, six, three. Dutch delight in Den Bosch. What a story. The second title of his career, the second of his season. He will be a top 30 player tomorrow morning and he will also be the Dutch number one. What a week it has been for this man. Celebrations can begin. A nail biter. Yeah. Carlos Alcaraz is the Queen's champion. And he will return to the top of the rankings. 6 4, 6 4. A very first grass court title. What a place to do it. In only his third event on this surface. Fifth trophy of 2023 and 11th overall. Is there anything this man can't do? He's got better with every match this week. And it will be all eyes on Alcaraz when the championships at Wimbledon gets underway in eight days time. He has made life so difficult for all his opponents here in Halle. Alexander Wublik! A second ATP final. A first ATP 500 title. And his brand of tennis does make it so, so difficult for his opponents, but emotional scenes. What a performance, 6-3 in the third. The biggest moment of his career. His first ATP Tour title. 
And from the looks of things, it won't be his last. Christopher Eubanks is the Mallorca champion for 2023. Yay! A superb oh performance over Adrian Manorino. Now the emotion can come out. A superb performance from start. Francisco Sorundolo becomes just the second Argentine ever to win an ATP Tour title on a grass court. He overcomes Tommy Paul, who was struck with injury halfway through the contest. Certainly limited his expectations, you feel. And what a season this man's having. He takes home the title on the south coast of England. And there Game it is. Set and match. Manorino. Adrian Manorino masters the grass in Newport. Two sets to love. Never six, passed the quarterfinals here in Rhode Island. But today he was just too good for the young pretender. Alex Mickelson has had a great week. Um, we'll hear an awful lot more about him in the future. But this moment is for. Adrian Manorino of France, a convincing winner, a comprehensive winner here in the final. He is the Hall of Fame Open champion for 2023. Adrian. He has done it. And now the emotion will flow. Petro Cashin. A first-time winner on the ATP Tour. The first title of his career. And what an achievement for the Argentine. It is glory here in Gestad. And no wonder he is all smiles here in the Swiss sunshine. sad way for any match to end but what a performance from Andre Rublev as he claims his 14th ATP Tour title a devastating performance in the championship match absolutely dismantling Kasper Ruud in the first set tiebreak and then in a love second set Rublev loves Bershtad It's a 20th ATP Tour title for Alexander Zverev. And this one will mean so much as he does it in the place he was born, the place he grew up in Hamburg. You can see the emotion. Laszlo Gera pushed him all the way. It was anything but easy for Zverev. But he wins the title without dropping a set the whole week. Can barely contain the tears here. A special week for Alexander Zverev. It's another yeah, title in the US Fritz. for Taylor Two Fritz. The first time he's done it in Atlanta for the number one seed. Who is making a habit of winning on home soil. Exceptional performance from both. He works so hard for that one, Fritz. And that's what it means.
Alexei Poprin is the Croatia Open champion. How did he do that? The epic battle yesterday and another one today, but he's taken it away from Favrinka. Somehow, this young Australian has prevailed. What a week for him, his second career title. Who thought it possible? Did Evans even think it was possible when he arrived to the nation's capital? But anything is possible when you pay the level of tennis that Dan Evans played this week. And with it comes all the rewards. His second career title and the biggest of his career, an ATP 500. It's a 10th tour title for Stefano Tsitsipas. A first outdoors on a hard court. And a 10th consecutive win over Alex Dimonor. 10 out of 10 for the top seed. Stefano Tsitsipas is the Los Cabos champion for 2023. And you can see what it means to him. Yes, he was mentally rock solid all week. He came here like a man on a mission. And in an hour and 25 minutes, he's been crowned champion. 6-3, 6-4. Not to be for Dominic team, but brilliant buyers. Wins in Kitzbühel, his third career title. He's been the best player here this week. And he ends with a convincing victory in the final. Second title of the year for him. Simply one of the best clay court players around. And he's proved it this week. That's it, Matthias. Get the family on the FaceTime. And Sebi, well, enjoy this moment. So endeth the lesson. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And the biggest prize of Yannick Sinner's career turns into a monumental early birthday present. Number eight is oh so sweet. Yannick Sinner, a Masters 1000 champion. Djokovic is the champion in Cincinnati once more. A 39th Masters title, surely one of the most remarkable of those finals. That is a match we will remember for a very long time. seals it on his fifth championship point after three hours and 49 minutes on court. Remember, he was a set and 4-2 down, running on fumes. He saved a match point along the way. Somehow, he's found a way. It's back-to-back -back ATP six, Tour two, titles six, for Sebastian Baez. What a week for the Argentine. It's now 10 match wins in a row, but more importantly, here's the Winston-Salem Open champion. A superb performance. He was rock solid from the back. Had to recover from a breakdown in both set one and set two.
Alexander Zverev is the 2023 Chengdu Open champion. A tough week for Zverev, who I think by his own admission may not have had his best stuff with him throughout the last seven days. But as the best players so often do, they're able to find a way through. And that is exactly what Zverev has done for his 21st ATP Tour level title, his second of the season. There it is. Magnificent for Karen Hachanov, his first title in five years. It was a super contest in the first set, but once the second set started, it was obvious that Nishioka didn't have it in his legs. Hachanov took advantage. And only his second tournament back after the stress factor in his back. He is a champion again. What a win for Manorino from a set and a breakdown. Champion on the ATP Tour for the second time this year. A champion at the age of 35, beating a man 12 years his junior. A comeback victory. And what an effort. What a performance. And he thoroughly deserves his fourth career title and his... Game, Sealed in style. Yannick Sinner puts on a dazzling display on the diamond court. The China Open has a new champion as the young Italian claims his ninth title on the ATP Tour. It is also his first ever win over Daniel Medvedev. He'd lost his previous six. It is lucky number seven for Sinner. As the tour returns to Beijing for the first time in four years, a worthy champion is crowned. Catch reigns supreme at the Rolex Shanghai Masters. What a final! A second title at this level for the likable pole who prevails in the most enthralling of contests. The biggest title of his season. A major milestone in the career of Ben Shelton. His first ATP Tour final. A week that he'll never forget, his first ATP Tour title. Like really Gaia Morphis becomes the oldest winner in Stockholm history to the delight of his team what a final it was
But it is Malfi's who comes through, and it's also his 12th career title. 4-6, 7-6, 6-3. But it is a superlative Sasha Bublik who takes the title here in Antwerp. A devastating display of serving particularly. And he backed it up. Title number three. And I'm sure he's telling Arthur Peace, your time is going to come. Mighty, mighty good. Yeah, he's cut from a different cloth, this guy, isn't he? And he plays a brand of tennis that is so unique. And Joy for Yannick Sinner in Vienna. He takes the title and takes out the defending champion to do it in a battle of beautiful brutality. Phenomenal from both men, extraordinary, defying belief and description at times. That mattered for Yannick Sinner. A mighty, mighty win for him. Into double figures in the trophy cabinet now for Yannick Sinner. once again defends his crown from 12 months ago and picks up his first title of 2023 a season that hasn't quite gone to plan a lack of form working his way through various injuries as well but he is finishing the year strongly a shame that her catch wasn't 100% fit today. But it's Oje Aliassim who is the champion here at the Swiss indoors. It's him again. Novak again in Paris. <laughs> the standard bearer, the pace setter, and very much still the man to beat at the age of 36. A fabulous 40 Masters 1000 titles now. And here in Bercy, it is title number seven for the world number one. His winning streak this season goes on as once again, he stands above the rest. Dreams do come true. It's a victorious homecoming for Umber in Metz. He has done it. And in front of four-time winner Joe Wilfred Songa, Uga Umber from this very town, he was born and raised here, is the champion in Metz. And to boot, he cracks the top 20 for the first time Hugo and he will Amber. finish the year as French number one. It's all over. Ugo, you've done it. in front of his home fans and congratulations. Continues three titles in 2023, five in total. What a week for the Frenchman! What a year for the number two seed here in Sofia. New champion overcomes Jack Draper, saves two break points. And the first time Vasking takes the title. And the smile says it all. What a way to finish the season. 
about it is another historic night for Novak Djokovic he is the champion for a record seventh time Overall, another phenomenal performance, phenomenal achievement from a phenomenal athlete. What a year he's had. Three majors, champion here in Turin. The year ends number one for an eighth time. It is seven singles trophies this year. 98 now and counting during a sparkling career.